Okay, hello. Gosh. So you don't have to guess. I'm currently sipping my coffee right now. Charot. <coughs> so yan. Nagkakape tayo. So kung makakalinig kayo ng mga noise-noise ng higup-higup ng kape, then I have to say sorry. Sorry na po. So yun. Uh, mag, ano tayo dito? Mag-industrial security. Um, introduction to in, um, industrial security concepts muna tayo. So yeah, by the way, um, we are criminology then. So we are offering quality yet free um, lecture, reviews, and guidance to our students, um, our followers, um, the takers of board licensure examination for criminologies, and so on, and other ano, who are na um have financial struggle so yeah we are offering free so that our speakers and our lecturers here are um offering their services then for free so parang pro bono cases yung mga dating ng mga art room natin dito so yeah i would like to say thank you on behalf of criminology then to all of the um lecturers na pinem ko at nag-unlock na pumayag na maging lecturer dito sa free re review center natin and uh, sana marami pa po na yeah, mag spare at mag-contribute ng kanilang knowledge yeah, so yeah and among my other colleagues are also certified security professional so yeah it was, re it was really fit then na um, ituro namin ang industrial security concept, right? So, yeah. Tama, tama. Okay. So, without further ado, naka, simulan na natin to. Um, on our industrial security, introduction to industrial security concepts, on rationalization, we will be having only 90 questions. So, yon. um, simulan na natin. Primary requirement in maintaining and organizing a private security agency. So, what do you think would be the answer here? So, a primary requirement. So, class. I may reiterate this again. Matalino na tayo. No? Um, alam na natin to, naturo na nato sa atin. Pero kasi, when they are asking for general answer, when there is asking for general question, you should give them a general answer answer. So, when they are asking for a specific question, then you should give them a specific answer. So, the question on board is the primary requirement. So, all of this would be a requirement but we've been asking and we've been finding for primary one. So, the answer here would be letter A. It should be 100% Philippine owned and controlled by Filipino citizen. So, what do, why do you think so? Because class Kaya dapat it was 100% Filipino controlled and owned. Kasi nga, it's a security agency, di ba? Mali mo, um, it was owned by a foreign national and then ang dami ng mga guards or ang dami ng mga bodyguards or having, you know, no, a private army na pwedeng sumalak sa security or maging banta sa siguro ng Pilipinas. So, it should be. the um, It's the primary requirement. Number two, restriction for high powdered firearms prescribed. That is number should not exceed percent of the total number of guards in the private security. So, yung restriction daw ng high power firearms. So, ilan lang dapat percent sa total guards na isang private security ang meron nun. So, we have 10. Dapat hindi lalagpas ng 10 percent. So, that's B. Um, number three, third line of physical defense. Third line, we have first line, second line, and third line. The very first line, yun yung gate. The second line is the mismong um, building, diba? or house. So, when we say third line of defense, yun yung mga storage system natin. Yun yung mga bolt system, block system, yeah. So, yeah, let's go. We're number four, floor. Doors, windows, roofs, and wall constitute the second line of defense, which will refer to us. So, ano daw yung tawag? Other usually na tawag sa second line of defense. So, 
So that's inside perimeter defense. Um, yeah, number five, common weakness for a sentry dog when used as an animal barrier. So that's A, ability to check or identify. So most common animal barriers to secure facilities, so any means common, no? We are asking here for common. Alam niyo niyan, no? Nakita niyo yan. That's sentry dogs. Um, seven refers to the line protection adja adjacent to a protected area and passing through points of possible entry. That's inside perimeter. Eight, um, a line protection surrounding and removed from protected area. So we have C, outside perimeter. Nine, from the standpoint of security, when should lock be changed. So, when we, we are asking for time and date, kailan yan dapat pinapalitan ang mga um, standby ng security? Yung mga ating padlocks and locks per se. So, ano, kailan ito kailan? That's once a year. Um, 10. If utility openings such as air intakes, sewers, exhaust tunnels have cross-section of 90 inches or more as a security consultant, so what should be the appropriate recommendation? So if you're having, um, kung ikaw ay nag-security survey and then nakita mo sa client na ganyan ang itsura ng kanyang client, ng kanyang of the facility. So, anong ma-recommend mo bilang security, uh, certified security professional or as a security consultant? So, it should be at least protected by filter and bar grills. Correct. Very good. Very good. Minsan, common sense din ang <laughs> ano, ba? And then, um, kapag, uh, you know, um, there's a time, uh, we have to admit, there's a time uh, we're in a question yung napupuso mo sagot or yung knowledge mo na sagot eh wala naman talaga doon so pa, yun kasi ang mahirap sa board exam eh. limited yung magiging answer mo for a b c d so m para sa akin and for other then it's really so hard to answer a multiple choice question rather for an essay type bakit kasi an essay type if, kung nag-aral ka talaga ha kung nag-aral ka talaga pero para sa hindi nag-aral medyo okay yung multiple choice. Alam mo, wala. At least, meron siyang choice. Di ba? May pag-asa siya kay 25%. Di ba? Kasi apat yun. Pero kung ikaw nag-aral ka naman, mas okay ang essay type. Bakit? Kasi pag super nag-aral ka, tapos limited lang yung apat na isasagot, tapos doon sa, sa apat na sagot, wala yung sagot na alam mo. Magkakaletse-letse na. Di ba? At saka pagka ano kasi, pagka super, di ba nag-aral ka, na over analyze mo ning question on the point na nagiging mali ka kay tama ka, di ba? So yeah, uh, we have to be aware on that. Ito na, minimum accepted height of fence. Ano yung accepted height o taas ng fence na si ginagamit sa security barrier? So that's B, minimum height. We're asking for minimum ha, we're not asking for maximum. So take note of the question. 12. To deny outsiders from visual access in a certain facility, what must be constructed? So, we've been talking for visual access. We're in access. We're in walang hindi, hindi tumatagos yung paningin or hindi nakikita ng mga um, viewers, yung mga outsiders, yung nasa loob ng facility. So, we're totally denying it. So, that's C, di ba? Or solid fence. Kasi pag solid fence, alam mo, close talaga yun. Unlike for full view fence or cha chain link fence. Saan ka makikita mo, di ba? 13. To prevent unauthorized person from jumping from one fence to another in case of multiple fences, they should be installed at least um, gano'y yung kalayo ng one fence to another in case na there is a multiple fences na um, it's needed in your security um, facility. So, an so, ano yung layo nila at least? 
So that's B at least 9 feet. We have at least 9 feet ang layo on if there would be an event of multiple um, fences. 14. As a security consultant, you have noticed that window o, windows of a particular building has been constructed less than 18 feet from the ground and 14 feet away from the another building. What will be your recommendation to fortify said facility? So, um, yeah, I, I would have to reiterate this class. Sa board exam, ang question na ay hindi yung who is the father, who is the mother, is the sister of the brother, is the cousin of the you know, hindi siya ganon. Uh, most of our questions in board exam are in application or like criminologist na talaga kayo or talagang um, certified security professional na kayo or security consultant na security consultant kayo. So, the question is more on application. Okay, more on scenarios. So, kapag sa mga questions is bakit ganito hindi na to lalabas eh. Bakit tinatanong pa kami na who is the mother, the father, is the sister of the brother? Wala na yun, no? Yeah. Pero hindi nga naman masayang yung question, di ba? For question. So, pinag-iisip talaga nila yung um, nagtitake ng exam. So, ano yung recommendation mo? If this would be the case. Balik tayo. That's A. The windows must be reinforced with steel grills. Yeah, let's go with seven. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Kasi. Fifteen. Simplest form ng lock. Pinaka simpleng form ng lock wherein there uses bolt containing notch called talon. So that's warded locks. It serves as trigger apparatus for protective alarm. What is the trigger apparatus of a protective alarms? So that's sensor. We've been talking for sensor. 17. Vicinity wherein access is restricted to all unauthorized personnel. Restricted ha sa lahat ng unauthorized personnel. So, anong tawag dun sa vicinity na yun? It is controlled areas. A, A, A. 18 areas wherein additional security measures measures are utilized. So what what's that? Charot. I have limited areas. We have limited areas. Um let's go with 19 areas which are always in closed surveillance. What are the areas in closed surveillance? Um that's exclusion areas. The closed surveillance. We've been talking for closed surveillance. Is it good if I'm gonna use highlighter instead of this pen? <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, let's go with 20. 20 is right up there. Um, an inquiry into reputations, integrity, character, moral, and loyalty of an individual to determine a person's sustain. Um, sustainability for appointment or access to classified matters. So, mahirap nga naman, di ba? If you're gonna um, hire a people for classified matters na could affect sa iyong kumpanya, di ba? Are you not gonna check or gonna have an inquiry? Kasi mali mo, nasa, galing pala siya sa kalabang kumpanya and then his goal is to um, gather your classified information, di ba? That would tantamon for the pagbagsak ng yung company so it's very important di ba? so what do we call that inquiry that's personal investigation um, security investigation so you're right okay let's go with 21 refers to the work king protective detail that provides close physical security to the principal so we have close and security very good 22 a vehicle always fronting the principal's vehicle to neutralize any possible threat. So, ano yung tawag sa vehicle na lagi na sa unang ng, um, fronting ng principal? Um, ito yung BIP um, security. Kasi meron tayong BIP security. 
Um, eto sa VIP security, hindi na nila kinukuha yung mga malalaki. Sa security kasi, before, mas maganda yung mas malaki, mas matigas, charot, hindi. Iba yon. Uh, mas malaki at mas malakas, mas magaling. ba diba dati, when it comes to security, parang it gives the impression na ay magaling to na, na um, bodyguard kasi malaki to. Um, malaki yung katawan, matangkad. Ngayon kasi hindi na. Ang kinukuha nila is, although maliit ka lang, kahit you're 5 feet, for a male, so, uh, mababa yun para sa ano, ba? Diba? But, kung madalino ka naman, walang problema, kasi, alam mo yun, nagbabago na rin yung view eh. Kasi totoo naman, ba? Diba? Lamang na matalino ang malaki. Diba? So, yun. Ah, ang malaka, sorry. So, yun. Yun na yung ating viewpoint for security right now. We have 22. A vehicle always fronting. <laughs> ano lang tawag dun pala? Sorry. That's recon vehicle. 23. Maximum number of guards for company guard for forces. So, we've been talking for company guard forces. So, that's letter D. Uh, a thousand. Bad na titiis o bakit? Charot. 24. Nakakaro. Kaya kasi dito yung nakaka-destruct. Charot. Um, talagang mga Pinoy, ano yan eh, um, sport natin ng video. Kaya kahit gabi, oh, tayo magawa. Um, minimum number of guards allowed in private naman. We've been talking here for private security agencies. What do you think would your bet? Sino mas marami? The company or the private security agency? So yeah, you're very good. That's 200. Kasi we've been talking for minimum. Yep, right? Right? We're not talking for maximum. So it would be understood. Mas konti. Minimum. 25. Minimum number of guards in company. Guard forces. So uh, same time, we've been talking for minimum and company guard forces. So what do you think would be the answer here? Future R cream. That's thirty. Twenty six. It includes barrier, perimeter fences, or guards at gate. What do we call that system or defenses? That's perimeter defenses. Defense, I mean. The following are examples of an inside perimeter defense. So, except. So, we're talking except, exception. So, alin ang hindi kasama dito? Alin ang hindi inside perimeter fences? So, nakaka-induct yung koro. Okay ng kapit ba? <laughs> um, noise canceling, noise canceling feature, features lang tong aking ano. Kaya medyo hindi madidinig. Pero buti na lang, diba? Kasi kung ganyan, ako. Kakaloka. So, 27C, that's bolt. See, that's in the ane, third line of defense. Na. 28, it is an independent structure designed to control physical on and or visual access between outside areas, usually classified as solid and plain view. Do we call this? The defense. Feeling ko talay ano. I was teaching for students. Ni mga Chinese students. And, right! Very good! Galing galing! <laughs> so, 29. House like structure placed above the fence installed to provide additional view to human guards above, around the perimeter. Para siyang bahay na itsura na nasa ibabaw ng fence and installed. Usually, di ba may mga ganito yung mga security guards if they're um, nagbabati sa mga lote-lote, di ba? That's towers. 30. Usually installed at residence, it is called night latch and it's operated by key on the outside and knob on the inside. So it's called night latch. It's also quite called la night latch. What do we call this? That's cylinder lock. Yung lock natin sa bahay, di ba? Cylinder lock. Um, refers to a key that will be opened everything in the system involving two or more master key groups. 
That's Grandmaster. I may check. I may gonna. I uh, know. I'm gonna change it to highlight pen. What do you think would be highlight pen? Okay, I will try it here. Oh, it seems a good job. Thirty-two. A term used in England for block picker save combination crackers. Yung mga magagaleng magbukas ng sugat ng kahapon. <laughs> Hindi, um, magaling magbukas ng mga nakandadong puso. <laughs> Hindi, mga kandado po, no? Kidding aside yun. So, anong ta sino ang tawag sa kanila? Si Peterman. Yes! I think a highlighter would be good. Um, 33, it's Project Lights. Project Slide and Concentrated Beams and Ideal to Use in Illumination Buildings, Perimeter Areas, and Boundaries. So, that's floodlights. I mean, check. I mean, floodlights. 34, a type of detection system we're in where the security has been breached. The sir siren is sounded in the remote station located in the immediate vicinity of installation. So, it's a kind of detection system, di ba? We're in kapag napasok yung security or yung building, um, meron tutunog na siren sa remote station na may kita lang din siya malapit na vicinity of the installation of that system so that's what do you think that would be answer so that is local security alarm system so i think ang ating and an dito keyword dito is the immediate vicinity of the installation you have to see it so it's pretty good that's local alarm it's pretty good to assume that's local alarm system but i have to say now you should ano moon you should have assess or you should um uh, read or read the whole question before deciding what would be the answer and then kung kaya mag magdasal lang magdasal bawat letter <laughs> or bawat number na magsasagot ka di ba 35 a metallic container used primary for safekeeping usually an anchored to a building and should be at least 750 pounds. So that's safe. You'll be safe here. <laughs> 36. A heavily constructed ferry system storage facility and is always part of the building structure. It's always part of the building structure. That that's up up. That's vault. Thirty-six, yen, de ba? So let's go thirty-seven. Um, it excludes all measures designed to prevent individuals. <coughs> sorry, of doubtful location, a loyalty character. Medyo hindi ko na basing loyalty. Wala kasing gan. Charot, doubtful. Loyalty, character, and integra integrity from gaining access to classified information and sensitive facility. So, what do we call this? All of the measures. Since, ano ah? That's, what do you think would be the answer? So, prevent individuals. Wag kayong maano dito. Wag kayong baka sabihin yung document security yan. Panggulo lang yung ano sir, so that's the the answer would be here. Personal security. Kasi baka makita niyo yung classified information sa the facilities. You're gonna go with security person. Um security. Si um document security. Kaya nga it was so um good to analyze yung whole question, di ba? So 38 it consists devices, patterns, or compilation of information which is used in one business and give the other, gives the user advantage over competi competitors, competitors. So that's 38. We have the trade secret. Yung pinaka, ano, parang yung secret ng formula ng Krabby Patty. <coughs> yung, yeah, yung halaga yan. So it's always been protected. 39. Apo. So, ino naman ang kape. Sorry. Yeah, 39. A private security agency applying for 
regular license to operate must possess how many pieces of licensed firearms for security duty purposes? We're talking for security, private security, ha? So that would be, oh my gosh, should happen. I do yeah, talking for seven. Nakakatuwa lang kasi ano, um, yung professor ko sa cream law before, um, shout, shout out kay, nang, ang nag-iisa at tanyag, charat, at ang bantayog na si um, Sir Bedso, Clinton Bedso. So, yeah, thank you so much, Sir. Um, kasi he's um, accept, and he, he's, he's the one who, ano, to ask me na to join, <laughs> na he's, talagang he's willing na, sabi niya, okay, yung movement na yan, I'm gonna go with that, so, he is willing, more than willing to offer, um, free lectures for, um, our reviewees who's having financial struggles for free, di ba? Isipin mo, mahal, ang mahal nun, no? Pero, nakakatawa din. Na, uh, yeah. Na, support. Support yung mga pro. Yeah, yeah. Balik tayo. Stop the drama. <laughs> um, the, the life is already filled with drama. So, gonna go. 4D. When firearms used to private security agency. Um, kailan ang firearms na ginagamit sa private security agencies na pwedeng ikumpis ka? The answer here would all of the foregoing, ha? Kasi it could be confiscated when the firearm arm has been used. Pero syempre sa pag-commit -commi ng crime, talagang kukumpis kayo niyan. Or yung ga barel ginamit sa... Um, uh, when the firearms caliber ay hindi sa... Yung kalibre ng barel na meron sila ay hindi sa prescribed ng room. Mga matataas na ulo ng barel, di ba? It's confiscated. It should be confiscated. And kapag ang firearm is carried or ginamit outside the property or compound ng agency without proper authority. So, the answer would be all of the foregoing. 4 to 1. He exercised the power to revoke, revoke for cost licenses issues to security guards. It's 4 to 1. That's GPNP. 42. Industrial, industrial establishments must be established. The first line of physical defense is refers to perimeter barriers. Minimum age requirement for security manager or operators of security agency. So, we're talking for security manager and minimum age of requirement. I think the, um, the qualification here is should come with age because if you're in, um, in the age, the great age, then meron kang experience eh. So, the answer here is 25. Um, 44 refers to a natural man-made structure which is capable of de delaying illegal access to facility. Natural ha, or it could be natural or man-made structure um, na dinedelaying illegal access makapasok sa facility. So, the answer is barrier. Kasi we can use natural barrier puno diba um it refers to means and ways that train personal employees making the security making them security conscious security that security education Four to six registration of security agency must be possessed at what particular government agency? That's on the sec. Sec po, di ba? Physical security is a system of barriers placed between the potential intruder and object matters to be protected. Bilang criminologists, you would gonna see this type of question in the board exam. Tandaan mo yan. Pag walang nakita kang ganyan, lumabas ka na lang. <laughs> Merong ganyan. Like, as the criminologist, as the ganito, as the ganyan, the, the, the question is more on that. Okay? Kasi so, iniiwasan na talaga ng mga examiner na gumawa ng question. Not, hindi iniwasan eh. Um, hindi na siya pasok sa TOS. Kapag more on identification lang. Kailangan more on application. Analyzing. Di ba? Critical thinking. 37. <clears throat> Bilang isang criminal. Ay, criminal. 
Oh my gosh. May lang isang criminologist. Be, um, what, is, what do you call denial, denial of that? It's denial of opportunity and access of object of protection. A, A, A. I'm on vacation. <laughs> 48. Weakest link na security chain. Mm-hmm. Alam na natin yan. That's personal. That's the weakest link. If you're gonna know why, then, yeah, wait natin yung comprehensive natin for the ano. So, ito kasi rationalization pa lang tayo. But, yeah, it's personal, di ba? It's kasi more on tao. Kapag hindi mo na-analyze o na sala mabuti yung mga personal mo, hindi ka nakawan, di ba? Si sila mismo yung tao dun lo sa loob ng company. <coughs> oh my gosh, excuse me. 49. Um perimeter barriers, protective lightning and blank is system are known in industrial security as physical security. Guarding, 'di ba? Guarding. Guarding po. 50. This is additional outwardly inclined fixed structure, usually barred with wires, placed above vertical fences to increase physical protection from intruders of a certain area. This is known as see the top guard. Um, criminology then is not offering school, ah. <laughs> We're not offering face to face, ano. We are on um lecture um online online review yeah so online review lang po tayo dahil um usually din ang ating mga lectures sa mga may mga ginagawa din and there are most on the remote areas ganyan so ganon and it was really ano eh it was really convenient on my on my part ha to review when um it's online kasi you can still continue your work eh kapag ikaw yung nagre-review di ba lalo na pag may iba ka rin ginagawa di ba you can continue it kapag you have the access that's 2024 we should use our technology duh charap ah yeah but we, it's been like pro bono cases it's it's um act of um kindness po ha so we're not offering school and we're not gonna ask for money at any ways. We're not gonna ask for donation as the admin <laughs> or as the initiator of this um, review. Free review is me. <laughs> so I'm just giving back it to community. So at any cost or so happen na dumating yung panahon na 10 years from now or 5 years from now, we don't know kung we're still here. But as I promised, we're not gonna ask for money or any monetary support okay so it's all free of charge kaya nga saludo din ako sa mga lecturer na pumapayag na mag lecture ng libre kasi diba da magano binabayad sa kanila for lecture and then um willing silang gawin yun ng libre so thank you so much po maraming maraming salamat po 51 <clears throat> balik tayo dito sa katotohanan Exterior interior parallel area near the perimeter barrier of extern ex industrial compound to afford better observation and patrol mov movement is known as what do you call it? What do you ano? Siyempre clear zone yan, di ba? Hindi friend zone, clear zone. Okay, clear zone. 52. Protective guarding in a, com in a compound can be done by the use of electronic hardware human guards and even animals sa England an owner to protect his compound use this and they are not only effective but also the cheapest to maintain this is this man is using what anong classing animals yung ginamit niya for him to protect his compound on England oh my gosh would you believe if this is it is the geese. <laughs> what do you believe? Kala nyo dog, no? So... Yeah. This geese. 
Ay mo maingay to, 'di ba? Mas maingay to sa duck. <laughs> diba nga yung pinaka nangahabol pa nga to. Diba? So maingay yan, no? Da, lalo pag madami. So may tao, no? Ah, sabay-sabay sabay, sabay yan. The government agency that issues license for private and government security guards. What what is this agency? Let's be NP Sajdi. Oh, I think the um <coughs> our reviewers and criminology students know this. Because most of my and I don't know I don't know if most but um several of my students and my colleagues before my classmates there are security guards, so they have the license, right? Mga ka-workmates, may mga ka-workmate din ako na security guard and my friends. Diba? 54. If access is limited only to authorized personnel, this is particularly place is referred to as limit only to authorized personnel. Yung mga authorizedong personnel lang nakakapasok dito. So that's restricted area. Kasi diba, baka kaya pag restricted area, hindi talaga pinapasukan ha. Authorized personnel lang po yung pumunta doon. Okay? 55. First measure undertaken before a comprehensive security program for an industrial plant could be developed by what? Security, security survey. Um, 56. A security survey of plant or industrial firm is also known by others except. That's B. 56B. That's risk assessment. Alin yung hindi kasama dito, ha? Security survey of plants is known as other terms. Yung ano ang ibang tawag? Kasi hindi nyo, baka hindi nyo na-guess yung question. Ano yung ibang other tawag ng security survey? Tapos, alin yung hindi kasama na tawag ng security survey? That's risk assessment, ha? Um, 57. 57. Today there are three categories of security guards belonging to the Blue Army. One of those listed below listed below does not belong to the group. So alin yung hindi kasama sa Blue Army? So that's bodyguards. Bodyguards. Fifty-eight. Whether to put up its own security guards organic to the firm or hire contract. While agency guards have their individual merits and disadvantages, to determine which type of guarding system an industrial firm will require, management must. Sir, wait lang. Oh, sorry, na ano interrupt, kasi. I'm in the middle of negotiation with other lecturers. So yeah, <clears throat> what do you, what do we um what is the answer for fifty eight? So, sino ang dapat nilang consult when it comes on this area of expertise? So that's a security consultant, not connected or to owning security agency as part thereof. Let's go with 59. As security officer, you cannot prevent nor predict natural hazard like storm, earthquakes, floods, and the like. In order to reduce the disastrous effect of this natural hazard, you will... You will what? Prepare, of course. Prepare a disaster emergency plan for this hazard for... Fair. So sixty. Um, sixty. Practical exercises. Nakita niyo to. It's not. It's board exam favorite. I have to tell you. That's dry run.
Okay. Okay. 61. The management of keys used in plant, office, or business organization to prevent unauthorized access is refers to as what? We refer it as key control. A A ha. It's key control. 62. There are many types of electronic and electric bulan lang, sorry. Protective devices available for security buildings, storage houses and compounds. One of the following is true. So lahat daw 'yan mali. So isa lang 'yung tama na tinitingnan. Dito. So alin 'yung tama patungkol sa electronic and electric protective devices na available sa mga security buildings. Okay? So, malaga din talaga ang reading compress sa pagsasagot class. And I is review is, ha? So, super galing ng lecturer mo. Super galing mo nga. So, pagdating sa question, medyo iniisip mo siya. Huwag <laughs> mo siyang isipin. Mahal ka nun, ha? Ano yung mo, lisensya mo? Dahil ang lisensya mo, hindi yan gigising isang araw na hindi ka na niya mahal. Aragoy. Aray, charot. That's B. Each building or compound records particular electrical protective devices. Agree? <laughs> Mag-agree kayo, di ba? So, 63. Um, a security chief of an industrial firm. No, sabi bilang isang security chief daw, isang industrial firm. Firm. Inventory shows na may fil ang filterage ay rampar, rampant or talamak sa warehouse nyo. So, what will be your choice of action? Sorry ha, sorry. na stop pa ako kasi ano, I was mi middle the negotiation with other lecturer. So yeah, thanks. Thanks God talaga. Thank you. Thank you Lord at pinapaunlakan. Although may mga anong yun, medyo may mga busy, ganon. Pero nakikiusap talaga ako sa please, please. <laughs> so yun, nad nadali ko sila sa pakikipag-usap. So yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Deployed intelligence men pilfered from areas to catch culprits. Pa deploy ka ng intel, ba? Para mahuli mo. That's it. Charo. Sixty-four. In industrial firm, there is a need for document security. As security officer, you will you can advise management on this aspect. Although this is not totally your assigned work, document security is not protection of vital records from. What do we call that? From what? From unauthorized handling. Sixty-five. The main reason for personal security investigation is what? What is the main reason? Just give me the reason. The main reason. So that's C. Preclude assignment to sensitive position for those who are security risk. I'm sorry. Sorry, bakit ganyan? Bakit ganyan? So, ito, 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 si ha, si ha, si. Charot. Bakit pa nagaganti yung mouse? <laughs> Sorry, nabababoy ko siya. 66. It is defined as a system of barriers placed between the matters protected and the potential intruders. So, that's physical. Physical. Oh, saan ba yung ano ko dyan dito? Sorry, ah. Sorry, ah. Sorry, sorry. 67. This type of alarm system utilizes a station located outside the compound. What do we call that? It's a central alarm system. 68. It is installed as part of the building which holds up to 10,000 cubic meters of essential items. At least 12 feet in height with enough ventilation and fireproof of at least 1 hour. What do we call this? The file room. Kasi yung mahalaga mga kapapelan, di ba? 69. It is a susceptibility of plant or establishment to damage, loss, or disruption of operations due to various hazards. 
B. Relative vulnerable um vulnerability. Seventy. Um, it refers to the importance of the establishment with reference to the national economy and security. That's critical, relative criticality. Um, classification of one who stills due to a resistible urge, primarily because of, you know, nakapag nakaw siya because there is an opportunity eh, and feeling nga hindi naman siya mauhuli. So, what do we call it? I'm using it. Systematic filferage. Letter A. Sinang sab? Si sabi? Alay sa chat. Ah. Kaya 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 Wait lang, check ko nga ito mamaya kung naririnig yung mga ganun. Kasi, pag iaangat ko siguro, hindi maririnig. Kasi someone is, ano, talking with me. Um, 72. They are installed between the prospective intruder and the target installation. 72A. Eto ah, I could, ano ha, I could give, can I give you, <laughs> can I give you a little piece of as bad advice? <laughs> Kapag nagre-review kayo, maghanap kayo ng review bodies, no? Malaking bagay yun. Pero, I would think siguro kung online, pwede rin yung review bodies for on online set, um, set up. Kesa pag yung mga ano, as, tapos mahirap dyan, kapag may review bodies ka, tapos nagdadaldalan lang kayo. <laughs> diba? Nadadamay ka. So, choose your review bodies wisely, including your friends. Chara. Since, ito, napakahirap ng board exam natin eh. No? Um, hindi ko na lang kayo tatakutin, pero matakot na kayo. We're, on, we're always on the 33%. 73. Um, for new applicants starting to acquire security guard license, the maximum age is? What's the maximum age? 50. 74. Security consultant must have at least ilang ex years na experience operation management ng security business. That's 10 years. Haba, no? Okay, 75. A regular license granted as a private security license card is valid for? For? Two years. Correct. You're correct. That is, maging tama ka lang dito. Kasi alam ko, huwag mo lagi kang mali. A... So, 76, a security unit operated and maintained by any government entity other than the military or police, which is established and maintained for purpose of securing the office or compound, or extension of such government entity. So, what we do we call that? That's C, government security unit. C, government entity nga, diba? Comfort entity nga, di ba? Bakit? Sabi ko, di ba? Andiyan na nga yun, eh. Andiyan na nga yung keyword, eh. 77. Refers to security force maintained and operated by any private company or corporation for its own security requirement only. Mm, what do we call that security force? Yung, di, um, ino-operate sila based on their own security requirement lang. So, you call it company security, company security force. Company. <laughs> Bisa. Cool. 78. Refers to the Association of All Licensed Security Agencies and Company Security Forces. That's Padbao. Padbao ba? Padbao. 79. Sa ilalim ng batas. Wala bang sa iba ba? <laughs> Above the law. Iba yun, iba yun. Above. No one is above the law. So, under the law, ha? Sa ilalim ng batas, the maximum ratio ng firearms to every security guard na ini-employ sa isang private security agency ay ano? Ano ang ratio? That's B. 1 is to 2. So, isang firearm, dalawang private security guard. Ano ba? Bakit? Nagliliit-liit. 
Okay. Balik tayo sa 79. Sorry. So, under the law, the maximum ratio of firearms to every security guard employed in the private highlighter pen tayo. Um, private security agencies is that's B1 is to 2. 80. A private security agency must initially produce at least ilang piraso ng license for arms for its security guards. That's B. That's 30. At least lang naman eh. Um, license security um, or permit to own a firearm or security agencies in the private and process to add 81. That's PNP Firearms and Explosive Office. Refers to merger of any person or group or person for purpose of organizing branch, unit of sub or subsidiary under separate and control ownership. So that's Kabit system. Kabit system and mga Kabit charot. So a lock which is commonly installed sa safe, di ba? So hindi to na pipik proof. Hindi to yun na susundot kasi ngayon it's operated by in um, utilizing combination ng mga locks by means of dial. So, meron tayo din ito minsan. Ay, may bolt ba kayo? Ay, meron ba kayong safe? So, that's combination lock. 83, 84, this tumbler lock is used in automobile would afford delay of at least ito. Ito na. 84. The answer is 10 to 15. Although, wala naman tayo talagang super, um, standard for this. Kasi, depende pa rin yan sa skill, di ba? Nung pick locker, depende pa rin sa skill nung ano. Pero, yung delay, uh, more or less, estimated 10 to 15 minutes yan. Um, 85, earliest known lock and assistant. This Egyptian lock. Of course, Egyptian lock. No other than Egyptian lock. For elimination of recovered pathways and sidewalks, it easier, easy, um, it's wiser to install what? Freshnel lights. Walls are storage device which is usually designed to be at least bakit sunugin mo to ng at least ilang oras. Hmm. At least ilang oras po. At least 6 hours. Um, 88 88 um Conducted for a period of four hours, it's concerned to reiterate the employees that security is additional burden imposed on everyone who is part of the community. So, what do we call that? Training conference. Ay, dito pala yan. Training conference. 89. Serves as the forum to resolve security problems and explain new rules and regulations. That's the refresher conference. Um, 90. Positive effort to sell security or to make employees more involved in implementation of security measures. So that's security promotion. Okay, so discard. So yun lang no. Thank you so much for andito. So wait natin yung ibang mga um, lecturer natin for other areas. So yeah. Kung ano naman po, baka pwede naman kami maglambing. Baka pwede naman ninyong i-share. Diba? Para share the, uh, spread the good news to other. Um, we are offering free review no, for the students. So, yeah. Kung sa rilihin. <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you so much. And kung may mga kilala kayong criminologist lecturer or criminology lecturer who are willing to, you know, do pro bono lecture and to offer their services back in the community then they can message our page thank you so much